ended up seeing that this girl's phone was unlocked right beside me as she went to go get more popcorn. And I decided to basically pick up the phone and see what all the vibrating was that her phone kept doing. And what I ended up seeing was insane. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to another really embarrassing story. This story all takes place back when I was in high school. And I actually, I was at a party at this moment. I was at a party hanging out with some of my friends and stuff. And it was just a giant party that someone at my school was hosting. I remember when I was there, I was walking around, having a good time, hanging out with people and talking to a lot of girls. But then one thing really crazy happened out of nowhere, where I ended up basically walking towards like the bathroom. And when I entered the bathroom, I ended up seeing a girl on the floor crying her eyes out. I ended up looking at her and I kind of went on one knee saying, hey, like, is everything all right? Um, yeah, everything's fine, I guess. I don't know. Oh, uh, why are you crying? Like, what's going on? Oh, just a lot of stuff's going on. I don't know. I don't know why I came to this party even. There's no point. Uh, okay. Well, to be honest, I'm kind of getting bored as well. Do you want me to like drive you home? You would do that? Uh, yeah, I don't see why not. So I remember me and this girl, we ended up getting up and we actually went straight to my car and I started driving her home. To be honest, I wanted to leave the party anyway because it wasn't that good. And to be honest, the girls there were mid. So I ended up basically driving this girl home because, well, it was just a reason for me to leave without getting the guys upset. But I remember right as me and this girl got inside my car, I ended up looking at her and I asked her straight up like, do you want to maybe talk about why you were crying earlier? Oh, well, honestly, you're going to think I'm really dumb for this, but I basically had like two guys I was talking to at the same time. And like, I guess they kind of figured me out and thought I was like a player of some sort, which I mean, don't get me wrong. I like to keep my options open, but like I never fully said I was dating one of them. At this point, I started to realize what this girl was trying to say because she was basically in the position I'm always in 24 seven, where I would basically talk to more than five girls at once and basically be a player. Okay. Like I'm gonna be honest. It's a player move what she was doing. And I understood it. And I started laughing and actually agreeing with her that there's no reason to cry about it. She ends up looking at me kind of weirded out saying, you don't think I'm like a Minecraft hoe for that? No, I don't. Honestly, like I get it. I mean, to be honest, I'm a player as well. At this moment, me and her, we got along to the point where we actually ended up going back to her place. And I'm not going to lie to you. We actually ended up doing the devil's tango. And this is where I guess it kind of begins our really bizarre friendship. Because I remember weeks on end after I met her that day, we'd always meet up and do the devil's tango in the most randomest of places. In a way, I guess we were friends with benefits, but to a point where I'm not going to lie to you, I think we kind of did like each other. So one day I remember she ended up looking at me one time after we did the devil's tango and we were both laying down on my bed and she said to me, hey, Bubba, I was wondering, like, we've been doing this for like months now. Do you want to like maybe like actually try being in a relationship? Are you sure you can handle that? Wait, what do you mean if I can handle that? Well, like, you know, like once you're a player, it's hard to get out of the game and, you know, being committed to me and actually becoming in a relationship is not an easy thing to do. At this point, she kind of just started like, you know, shrugging her shoulders and she's like kind of like making reasons of why we'd make a great couple since we understand each other to a point where we were both players. And I don't know, she made up all these reasons that I'm not going to lie to you. It didn't really sit well with me, but honestly, I did like this girl somewhat. I won't lie. So I ended up basically saying, sure, why not for me and her to go out. And trust me when I say this, dating a girl that's a player as well is as hard as dating a guy that's a player because what ends up happening next was the most awkward thing ever. Because I remember the next day, I remember it was the weekend. It was a Saturday and me and this girl, I ended up picking her up so we can go to dinner. We decided to go for a dinner date because, well, I don't know. We already knew so much about each other, but we wanted to, I guess, kind of see if we could do it in like a normal setting of like an actual relationship. So me and her, we ended up going to this nice restaurant. And once we got there, I remember right as we walked through the doors and we go get seated at our table. Instantly, I see her ducking her head down saying, oh shoot, why is he here? Why is who here? I end up looking around and she's like, okay, um, do you see that guy like kind of like to the left of you? Uh, yeah. What about him? Well, um, I think like two weeks ago, I think he like, he hit me up and like, he wanted to like, you know, hang out and stuff. If you know what I mean. And like, I don't know why he's here, but it looks like he's with his girlfriend. Wait, this guy has a girlfriend and he hit you up. Yeah. Why? Well, like he's taken. So it doesn't change anything at this moment. Like I felt really weird because like, how are you going to say that to a guy that you're literally on a date with? You know what I mean? Like it just made things way more awkward. And then afterwards, I remember this girl decides to get up and actually leave to go to the bathroom so she can kind of like hide out in there as she's texting me like if he's gone and stuff and at the moment i'm just sitting there and thinking this is the most dumbest date i've ever been on but then out of nowhere the guy walks up to me and he comes up behind me saying hey i have a question that girl you're with uh is she still here uh yeah she's still here she just uh went real quick to the bathroom uh why what's up just tell her like i'm sorry i guess i don't know i, I didn't know she would be here and like i didn't want her to see that oh no it's chill dude i'm just a friend of hers oh okay cool cool man all right well i'll see you later and he ended up walking away now i don't know why he said he would see me later but like at the same time at that moment i started to realize that maybe me and this girl dating wasn't gonna happen i don't know comment down below if you guys would date a girl that
Spotlight used to be a major player, but at this moment, I started to realize that maybe it wasn't a good idea. So right as this girl comes back and sits down for dinner, me and her, we started talking about, you know, things in life that we wanted to do and goals and achievements. And honestly, I ended up bringing up the conversation saying, hey, so listen, I don't know if us like actually like becoming official is a good idea. Like, I think we have too much history from our past and too many skeletons in the closet to kind of like just hide everything away and just start dating. You know what I mean? She ends up looking at me kind of sad, but she kind of understood what I was saying since that whole thing just happened. And then she ended up grabbing me by the hand and saying, well, I mean, I could just make it up to you back at my place. And well, you guys know me. I was a major player. I was a hornball. Obviously, I said yes. And me and her, we ended up going straight to my car, not even eating dinner, by the way. We totally just forgot to eat. And we instantly went straight to her place and went and did the Duvel's Tango. And after we finished, I remember we laid down beside each other again. And she looks at me. And once again, she says, honestly, I think we're like really compatible. I think we should try again. Like, let's just go somewhere where like, maybe we won't get like seen by like too many people. Like where? Oh, like, I don't know. We can go like to a movie if you want. At this moment, I'm like, you know what? Sure. How bad could a movie be? And trust me when I say this, what ends up happening at the movie after? God, it just made me realize that I could not date this girl for the living life of me. Because I remember the next day happens and me, I went to go pick up this girl instantly from her house so we can go see a movie. And right as I pick her up, I remember she got in my car while looking at her phone, texting someone. Now I didn't ask who she was texting, obviously, because one, it's none of my business, but let's just say, trust me, I wish I asked who she was texting because I remember the whole time in the car, as we were getting to the theater, her phone kept vibrating over and over as if she was like a doctor that needed to get to the OR. Like it was like nonstop vibrations to the point where I looked at her and I said, Hey, like if you're too busy tonight, we can go to a movie another time. What? No, I'm fine, Baba. Let's just go to this movie. Trust me. Nothing bad's going to happen. And as we got to the theater, I remember we went inside, we went to go sit in our seats. But at the same time, she looks at me and says, Oh, Baba, do you want popcorn? I kind of want popcorn for this movie. Oh uh, yeah, sure. I'm down for popcorn. So she ends up getting up, going down to get the popcorn. But right as she leaves, I realized that she left her phone on the seat unlocked. So at this moment, I didn't know what to do. Part of me wanted to look at her phone and just go through it and see if like, you know, how many dudes she was talking to and why her phone was vibrating all the time. But also part of me knew that like, you know, we were both players. Like, obviously there's going to be dudes. Like, why would I look at it to hurt myself? But obviously me being a dumb guy and honestly really curious, I ended up basically grabbing her phone and I went through it. And what I saw was the most insane thing ever because I ended up seeing a photo of a guy's eggplant and under it said, I can't wait to see you tonight after the movie. What? At this point, I was so confused. Like, she's gonna see a guy after our date? Like, seriously? And it kind of did piss me off to the point where I got up and I actually ended up leaving the theater. I just left her. I am not joking. I didn't even tell her I was leaving. I just left. And right as I was in my car on the way home, I kept getting spam called by this girl and I answered it saying, yeah, listen, honestly, I know what you're gonna say. I don't want to hear it. You're gonna go see some other dude anyway. I don't want to talk about it. Can we just pretend we never saw each other and just move on? And I hung up the phone. At this moment, I started to realize that maybe dating another player is just going to hurt me even more. And it made me actually start to realize how bad it was for me to be a player like that. Because I'm not going to lie, I also used to be like that all the time. I don't know. If you guys would have left that date, comment down below. But honestly, at the end of the day, if you guys wouldn't, then just fall for more embarrassing stories. Peace out, guys.